Hi guys. Okay. Um. Right. Before I start this video, which is about baby powder, I I have pasted on my last video, which was the video about which videos I'm going to make. I received a comment to which I have replied, and it was from username. Mummy me me and it drew attention to something that I had actually never noticed. You know how we all have well not we all but I have like a it almost like a, a nervous tick. You know where like I've been called up on it before where like when my hair's down at the moment I've got a hat on I wear hats all the time but when I say I take my hat off if I've got pigtails like my hair's like curled up um when something's bothering me I sit playing with my hair or twisting it around um now like I've got pom-poms on I might sit doing that and again when quite often I'm talking on a video, I'll sit messing with as Mummy Me drew attention to what I do. I mess with bones, yeah? And that can be triggering to people. I didn't even realise I was doing that. And I didn't, I naively, I didn't even, probably because of my own distorted body image, um, where I didn't, but I'm so, so pleased that I've been pulled up on this, that what I've decided to do is that now, for every single video you see me make, I will be wearing, doesn't matter what clothing I'm wearing um, during the, you know, my daily life, every time I make a video, I will be wearing this hoodie. This is a hoodie. Doesn't matter whether I've got a hat on, doesn't matter what colour clothing I've got on, blah, blah. If I've got this hoodie on, and it is zipped up to the neck with the pom-poms. If I'm doing that, then I have covered up my skin. I can't mess with body parts or whatever. And if I start to get like nervous or that, then I just sit and go like that with the bubbles. So, I hope that clears up any, I hope that helps, yeah, and I really, really apologise, I would never, ever purposefully make anyone uncomfortable, that is not what I'm about, and I'm really, really sorry. Anyway, now that's out the way, hopefully, and yeah. I will hopefully now be known as the um the bobbly the bobbly hoodie leopardy print girl thing with a badge on that says um world's greatest seventy year old. My mum wouldn't wear it on her birthday, so I ado I, I adopted the badge as my own because I um jokingly said I'll never make seventy, so I'll wear the badge. And, uh, yeah, anyway, right, I'll cover the brand up. Baby powder. Okay, we all think, yeah, babies, they like powder on their ickle bottoms, because that's what it's for. I love the smell. We all have comforting smells and things. I love the smell of baby powder. It's doesn't matter what brand it is, but this particular brand, which is world renowned 
Um, it's just a very, very comforting smell. However, I don't know if, you, you know, you guys, you know, clean up your own. I like cleaning and stuff. But there are many uses. However, top three. The first, I like to clean my own living space. And one great use for baby powder is, say like, yeah, I want to put my, it's hard not to mention brand names here. Oh, sod it. I'm going to mention brand names. I've got a Dyson vacuum. It's bloody brilliant. What I do, I either empty the compartment and put this. I'm purposely not showing you the brand name, though I'm sure you'll know which powder it is. Sprinkle it in so that the air that is blown out the back makes fragrances the room as I vacuum. Or if I spill my ashtray on the floor and cigarette ash goes everywhere. Oh, oh, not to worry, not to worry. It's all right, the diazepam and codeine have kicked in a little bit so I can actually stand up. I can sprinkle this, even if I haven't spilled ash, I will liberally sprinkle it all over my carpet and on the furniture and then that way I can see where that ensures that I have vacuumed everywhere and because it's been sucked up and going into the vacuum the air which comes out the back of the vacuum still smells lovely because I'm sucking up the powder and making a comforting smell in the room. So it it does like it does for that brilliantly. So you know you've cleaned everywhere because you've sprinkled this stuff down and you can clearly see then that you've got to uh, you've got to vacuum where this is it also covers up the smell of you know cigarette ash dropped on the floor does not smell good um that all over it vacuum it up perfect <clears throat> so that is a use that it was not designed for but works brilliantly so that's use number well that's use number two apart from the obvious which is you know shower put it on your feet or what i do is i wear little slippers like that and <sighs> i wear like today i've got um I've got little, oh, I'm going to go. I've got my cut off jean shorts on and, um, sorry, I have to keep pulling them up. Power, power, like, woolly tights. But then I put sockies, sockies over the top, woolly socks. Oh, 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 oh. sorry, ah, uh, back up. Yeah, and then. What I'll do is, when I've put my woolly sockies on, I'll sprinkle the powder into the slippers, put then my slippers over my socks, put this back up, and hey ho, I've done it keeps my feet fresh all day. So that's another lovely thing. Because it, it just keeps it all fresh and nice and yeah. So that's another use for it. And another good one is hair. Right. Now I don't have a problem with greasy hair because 
I, even though I've got really dark hair and I know I went through a stage of where I bleached it and stuff and had even less of a problem with greasy hair, if anything, it goes dry. But because I wear hats all the time, um, the only thing I have a problem with is sometimes my ickle fringe, because I've got the amount of ickle fringes, I do use spray oil and coconut oil in my hair um, to stop it from, you know, being brittle and dry because it falls out all the bloody time. Um, but sometimes I wake up and my fringe is just like, or it's and it's sticking up and then I have to wet it all with water, my fringe that is, and re-blow dry it and kind of because I like it nice and straight and everything but when I haven't got chance to wash it and it just feels all gammy then what I'll do is either just on my fringe or I'll take all of this out like for example now if I take that out because I've twisted it, it's, I don't know if you can see, I was moaning about no light and now I need a bit of light. You can probably see it's gone into, I'll just get a bit of light now. Oh, 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 oh gosh, right, as we plunge into darkness. Right, um, yeah, it goes into like ringlety things it's naturally obviously just dead straight it's really bright now um actually that smells lovely but yeah so another good thing say like you've got a, it's a bit greasy or it's a bit whatever and you just want to get a, a big brush and whatever what you can do is get the powder just sprinkle you can either put it onto your hands, but I've got gloves on, so I won't do that. But sprinkle a little bit on, rub it in, sprinkle a little bit, rub it in. Just give it a good old rub with your fingers, so it's all kind of wild. And then... So it's reaching over my okay, and then give it like a a comb, and what happens? The the baby powder cleans and fragrances your hair. It gets out any unwanted oils. But without stripping natural oils type thing it comes out and bearing in mind my hair's black you might think white powder black hair no nope. it just sort of dissolves in it re shapes your hair as in it doesn't you know it's, it's not harsh it's for newborn babies so yeah and you can do the same with the you know like especially on the reach if you want to just give your whole hair haven't got time to wash it blow dry it blah 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 but you just want to freshen it up so you're spending money on dry shampoo which essentially is powder in aerosol form yeah it smells good but uh, baby powder comforting smell you can do the same rub it all through the roots give it a really good brush through all of that dissolves comes out leaves your hair fresh soft silky revamped um yeah not quite sure why i've well yeah I, i'll just retwist that and leave it for another day when i'm not wearing a hat and i want it to look nice um so that is the three top uses for a simple bottle and you can go to Poundland, you don't even have to buy branded, in fact in Poundland you can buy 
that particular world renowned brand of baby powder for a pound um or in if you're from the US or something and they have like a, a dollar or a 99 cent store or something um and get that um but all baby powder smells good so that is my video on how to utilize baby powder and I know maybe you guys have got another use for it that I haven't mentioned here I may discover more uses in the future and I don't know maybe that video was not helpful maybe it was but on every video from now on as I say regardless of what I'm wearing I will be wearing this hoodie just to clear up any problems of triggers as regards um, body image bones anything like that that's not what I'm about I'm not here to trigger anyone I'm just here to hopefully hopefully help people and you're don't ever worry about offending me um, if I, if there's something that I've done or do that is like you, that is triggering someone and therefore means that it, it you're reluctant to watch my videos because of that um then please let me know i i i'd rather know than not so yeah anyway i'll shut up and go now and um you all have a great day love you all you're all fantastic and um yeah bye bye laters and love you use <laughs>